Hello everyone, we're still here at the Globe Awards and I'm stood next to Matt Nixon who is the winner of the Unsung Hero Award this year. And Matt is the director of 52 Degrees North Travel and is pretty well deserved. How are you feeling? Uh, just completely blown away, just didn't, didn't have a clue that this was even a possibility. Just You really yeah. weren't expecting it? Not at all, just as they kind of... Uh, started um, outlining the award and I was like well yeah I've done that yeah I've done that no it just, <laughs> yeah, just completely by surprise yeah I mean there's a lot of very inspirational people in the industry and a lot in yeah, this room absolutely. tonight but you have been deemed as the most so that's got to feel pretty good today what to say I mean uh, a bit of a tingle down my back when kind of you said that and it's kind of it means a hell of a lot and uh, just still kind of getting over just can't can't believe yeah can't yeah. believe it's so so why do you think we won kind of talk talk us through it uh i don't know i mean um i've done a few things over the last few years but kind of all all really to to uh try and get people to understand the experiences that they can do it as well like i used the quote earlier that um I'm much more like Homer Simpson than Bear Grylls, <laughs> and that's kind of completely true. You say that, I don't imagine that Homer Simpson would ever do a 100 kilometer ultra marathon, but that is something that you did. He'd be stupid enough to, though. <laughs> yeah, so, no, it's a good point, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Um, and he would only make it, you know, outside the front door. Exactly, with plenty of duff beer, yeah. and, you know. But yeah, in all honesty, um, I'm just trying to show that if I can do it, someone else can. Yeah. It might not be the same thing but um, everybody's got an experience they want to have in life and um, when you reminisce over those experiences that you've had it really can help when you're kind of struggling a little bit mental health wise yeah. the mental health has uh, been a big focus for you hasn't it yeah and I haven't necessarily struggled with, with it myself but I have family members that have and um, but as you, as you read back those experiences and read back those things that you've done it really does um, push forward uh, like the, the worth you know the self worth and and um, and the good times that you've had in the past and they yeah. can happen again in the future mm. uh, and you wrote a book as well didn't you so that was during the pandemic that you wrote yeah that. so during the pandemic I did a lot of, a few talks about some of the um, expeditions that I'd been on or done um, like a Mon Mongolia trip I went on I did a hundred mile ice skate down a frozen lake that sounds terrifying it was good at the time uh, I did a husky expedition but uh, as well but um, the, the, the idea of it was that I did talks about that and I wrote all my experiences, not them but other little random things down in a book and people said that that sounds like a, a great idea Is it? can I buy it? and I said well not really Like it's just my own thing yeah. but I took that idea and, and brought it out and it's more of a journal and um, although I, it's got my name on the on the cover, the only thing that's got me in it is the front page, and it's a um, ring binder book, so you can pull that out if you want. It's not my book; it's their book, so it's their experiences that go in it. It's their memories, their happy times, their um, things that they want to look back at and remember. Um, so that's important that it's not it's not about yeah. me it's their book yeah so doing uh, but but that will be doing a lot for, for other people for people that buy it yeah and I, I hope so yeah, yeah yeah I hope so and people fill it out you know some people have had messages they fill out on Christmas Eve with their kids to make sure they've captured everything for the year some people might be a bit of a different way of looking at it like are looking forward to giving it to their grandkids when the time comes to show oh, them wow. to show them what they've done in the time that they've had Amazing. Um, but yeah it's um, it's a record of everything that, that's been good and they want to remember and uh, and that's important to everybody I think to have that yeah. recollection and you've also I mentioned your ultra marathon but you've, you've raised quite a lot of money for Mind as well haven't you Mind Charity yeah so every sale of the book uh, we make a donation to Mind um, and the 100 kilometre um, walk that I did which I managed in about 23 hours and it hurt it was horrible <laughs> but it was good at the same time yeah. but I did that for Mind Charity as well and um, we've also done other things for cancer charities um, over the time but I think um, yeah i, I I think while I'm doing something like that, um, it's useful to uh, try and 
help along the way if you can. Fantastic. Well, I think you are a truly deserving winner of tonight's award. Congratulations again. I'm sure a lot of people want to come and celebrate with you, so I'll yeah. let you go. But... My wife isn't here tonight, but she's the big driving force behind everything that uh, we do as a family. So big thanks to Donna. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Matt. Have a great rest of your night. Cheers. Thank you.